practice diary. Day 93. It's been many weeks since I last saw JJ and Johnny. I'm working on this magic trick to help bring them back. It's been tough, but I feel like today's the day. This is good. This is a good step. JJ and Johnny, I'll avenge you. Uh, we were just on vacation. Hey everyone, it's Elliot from Wondershare from Mora here to empower your inner video creator. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Today, I'm going to show you how to make objects fly in Filmora 10. Let's get started. First of all, let's get the prop ready. You can use anything you want, but I'm going to be using this toy. What I'm going to do is tie a thin string to the toy. I only want to tie to one spot with one string because I want it to rotate. Make sure the string you're using here is thinner so it's less obvious in camera. Now, let's start filming. Make sure the filming angle is low enough so it hides where the string attaches to the toy. Also, make sure the camera is on a steady surface or a tripod so it won't move. Now, we need to film twice in the same frame with the same setup. For the first shot, I'll need to film the empty set without the subject and the prop for about 5 seconds. For the second shot, I need to sit in position and attach the other end of the string to something stable out of frame. Okay, and now let's bring the video into Filmora 10. Drag and drop the background clip onto the first video track, and drag the video with your subject and prop onto the video track above. Align the beginning of both videos. If the background clip is too short, we can slow it down. Since there's no movement in the background clip, the speed change shouldn't change how it looks. Now I'm ready to mask out the string that attaches to my prop. Go to Effects, Included, Utility, find Shape Mask, then drag and drop it onto the video with your subject. Adjust the mask to hide the string. It may be easier if you inverse it. If you can see the edge, soften it by increasing the blur strength in the top left media settings panel. If you want to include the pop-up effect here, we can split the video with your subject and prop into two before masking. Mask the prop and string out in the first part and mask only the string out in the second part. Make sure you watch it back a few times to see if you need to adjust anything. That's how you make an object fly in Filmora 10. What other magic tricks are you seeking in 2021? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, keep creating.